So CBR, which uh, I understand it's uh, 69% funded by the government, has debunked the accusation that uh, the test screening of uh, One Piece has flopped. And I'm like, wow, really? Have you? Have you though? I mean, uh, all right. According to Twitter account Divinity Seeker, a well-known Hollywood uh, news outlet, Viewers responded poorly to the private unveiling of the highly anticipated series, citing poor CGI quality and confusing plotting as primary issue. Audience members who are not fan of the original One Piece series were apparently unable to grasp the story. At the same time, those familiar with the source material found themselves just as confused by the adaptation's changes to it. This sounds like the, the perfect Netflix adaptation. Like you, th This just summarized all of them. A notable deviation is the introduction of the show's uh, central characters, with Zoro, Zabi, Usopp, and Sanji, all supposedly introduced in the last 15 minutes of the pilot, while they animated 20 episodes to reach the same point. Another complaint was the erratic tone of the adaptation, which jumped between ridiculous, goofy, and incredibly serious uh, tone fashion. Now, I'm really curious to see how they're going to debunk it. Well... Although these reports may be concerning for One Piece fans, test screening only offers a small sample size of reactions. There is still hope that the live-action series can uh, rise to the daunting task of bringing creator Ikiro Oda's world and characters to life. Motherfucker, you didn't debunk shit. Right? Like, the claim is that the people watching the screening were incredibly dissatisfied with what they saw, and you're, you're not debunking that. You're not saying, like, debunking would be, no, actually, I was there and everyone clapped. Okay, like, that would be debunking. What you are saying, though, is that, well, hopefully it will still be good. That's not debunking. Oh, God. And by the way, it will be shit. Like, I, I, I can vouch that it will be shit. Anime doesn't translate well into live action. Especially not the type of anime like One Piece. Like, you can't, you can't make Dragon Ball. You can't make One Piece. You can make Death Note, though. Like, some anime do translate well. Like, um, Rental Girlfriend, um, Uzaki. You know, like, the, the, the Uzaki wants to hang out. Like, all of these can potentially translate well. But even then, it would be difficult. Surprisingly, Pokemon actually translated well. Like, Pokemon the movie wasn't that bad. You know, Detective Pikachu... Um, but, but like, overwhelmingly, it is difficult because it's a different type of art style. Like, anime isn't trying to be realistic. It's trying to be over the top. But the emotions that it's conveying are definitely attempting to be realistic. But the people at Netflix are incapable of translating even, like, a book into something, let, let alone an anime. Like, this is a Herculean thing. You, you're asking too much of this poor American company. They can't do it. The only thing they can do is, like, lose $7 billion. That, that's what they can do. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.